So, welcome. Uh, today is going to be the start of a new series. Um, someone recently had asked me to see if I could hack a Ninja Gaiden to add free play. So I figured, ah, why not uh, give it a shot and record it as I go along. I don't know, you know, what's going to be involved. Um, I mean, I basically know what's going to be involved in any free play hack. But um, specifically, um, this game, I'm, I'm not sure what's involved. So, um, from the technical standpoint, um, specifically, um, so we'll, we'll learn this together, hopefully. So, first thing is, um, you got to have MAME installed. I already have it installed. It's in my C drive under MAME minus 17, I'm sorry, 1072. There's a couple things we need to figure out right away. Um, and I need to learn to type in Windows. First thing we need to do, uh, the first thing I think I'm going to do is figure out where the free play, not the free play, where the coin credits are stored. So, the first thing I need to do is figure out where the RAM is. So, to do that, I'm going to pull up Chrome and go to uh, www.name dab.org click on fork me on github to get the source here or view the source going to the source name drivers and then the name of the driver is gaiden.cpp and that will tell me a lot of what I want to know um, it tells me the memory map and this is important I might want to just write this down or if you're following along you might want to write this down right now all we need is a ram um, so 60 Zero 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 to six three FFF. It's also probably wise to point out the ROM here too. Zero to three FF FF. Um, let me go ahead and write that down. And it's good to know this stuff too. Um, we'll, we may need that later. We probably won't need this later actually, but it's good to know. So um, a reason I need to do the RAM is because I'm going to um, search through RAM memory to see where as I add coins what value changes and corresponds to the number of coins I've added. So there we go, we got that range. Now I'm going to um, pull up the MAME emulator, MAME64 debug, and I'm just going to run Ninja Gaiden. Shrink it down here. Okay. I'm just gonna move that over here. Move that over here. Move that over here. And hit F5 in this window here to start the game running. Let it boot up. Okay. So let's boot it up. And now what I'm going to do is once it's ready, I'm going to hit, there we go, I'm going to put a quarter, I'm going to click in this window here and hit 5 to, for one quarter added. And I'm going to go over here, I'm going to hit F7, because that will stop the game. And I want to search memory for a memory value in the RAM range, which is 60000 to 63 FFF um, for the value 1. So I'm going to do... Find zero six one two three four with a range of three f f f f. Actually, what I should do is make that four. It's going to be one more than the last RAM address because that is the number of entries I want to search. Is that right? Did I do that? No, I'm sorry. It's only that much. Okay. And I want to search for the value 1. Okay, And so I found a bunch of values here. You can see here, these are all the values that have the value 1 in them. Okay, So it, it would be nice if I could point and like copy this to a clipboard, and then I could just paste it into a, a, um, like a, a document. Because what I'm going to do next is add one coin, do the same thing, and then find out which addresses, theoretically, hopefully, only um, 
it, in both listings there will only be one address at the same um, because one was one one when it had one coin and when I add another it will be two so that address will go to two so let's go ahead and restart it here we're gonna hit F5 here hit another five credits two hit F7 in this window and we're just gonna do that again except this time I just hit up arrow to get that the same command and this time I'm going to run it for two and you can see here um, the values okay um, so all I have to do is compare this set of values with this set of values and see what the value exists in both of them. That's the memory address that is um, the same. And look at this. I can actually see it right here. 62F15. 62F15. It's in both of them. So it, it's very unlikely there's two addresses that just happen to be one and then two. Um, it's possible if there's some other value somehow that's just, you know, just corresponds lucky. It's some type of timing value, but um, I bet it's this. So what we're going to do here. Is we're going to open up a new memory window. Go to 0x62f15. Hit it again there. So it's at the beginning. You see I have two. Start the game up five. And theoretically, if I add another corridor, oops, where's my window? Where my where my memory window? Disappear. Let's put that back. 0x62f15. All right, there it is. I'm going to add a quarter here. Hit f5. Hit, no, not F5, but regular 5, and theoretically, if it's um, that's the memory location, then it should also go up. And it does. Look at that. All right, so I'm actually going to do something fun, fun here. I'm going to switch to 0, and you can see my credits went to 0 there. So that's definitely the location. Um, so that's it for this little episode um, because I've been told that I should keep my episodes fairly short because people have a hard time focusing when they're 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes long. So uh, that's a little bite-sized chunk for you. And uh, that's it for today. Um, we'll do another episode in a bit and uh, looking at the next step. Thanks for watching. If you like this uh, video, please hit the like button and tell your friends about it.